Presidential spokesperson Dr. Heather Wigintaba says the DPP has got no plans to impeach anyone. Dr. Ntaba therefore described as unfortunate calls by NGOs that the DPP should include the president in its impeachment plans. Dr. Ntaba explains. The call by some NGOs to, quote, impeach Bingo as well, end quote, in the nation's newspaper yesterday is dishonest, out of ignorance, and completely uncalled for. The DPP has no plans to impeach anyone. The Malawi Constitution provides for the impeachment of the President or Vice President for appropriate impeachable offenses. Section 86, Clause 2, requires impeachment procedures in the standing orders of Parliament. Members would just be complying with that section if and when they voted for impeachment procedures, which are now, by the way, 17 years overdue. The President's constitutional referral regarding Vice President's resignation is just what it is. It has nothing to do with impeachment. The proposed hike for MPs' perks is a proposal from parliamentarians in Parliament and not the President's recommendation. It is therefore outrageous for the NGOs to suggest that the President wants to buy support from MPs for the alleged impeachment process. Thanks that the Speaker has clarified the procedures in this proposal. The NGOs claim to speak for the people. Although Kongoma has over 500 NGO members, only 22 members turned up at their Friday meeting in Lilongwe. This is well below the legal requirement for a quorum, but they still went on to meet and passed resolutions. This is blatantly against their own rules of procedure. Yet these NGOs claim to be watchdogs for democracy, governance, and the rule of law. They are obviously fake watchdogs. These are the same vocal minority NGOs that used to spread the false stories that the president is sick, even dead. They have failed. Now they want to start more lies to discredit the president. They are being told to do so, by the way, by their political paymasters the opposition party leaders. This time, they will also fail. Presidential spokesperson, Dr. Heather Wigintaba.